Hello and welcome to our dining guide of P&O's newest ship, Arvia. We filmed this video during Arvia's maiden voyage. Arvia is similar but not identical to its sister ship, Iona. There are some changes. We hope this video will help you get an insight into how to make the most of the dining venues on board. Hi, we are Tom and Dom Travel and we release a cruise related video every week. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you press that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a like. Now, Arvia is huge and there is lots of choice. So let's firstly look at those venues that are included in the price of your cruise fare. Arvia has two main dining rooms, the Meridian and Zenith restaurants. These are two traditional main dining rooms on Arvia. They are open seating and don't require booking. Although there is sometimes a queue to be seated, they are open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Menus change daily here. Special menus can often be found on gala evenings. There is one way to tell the difference between these two and it's as simple as tablecloths. Apart from those subtle differences, the menus in both are exactly the same. You will find both of these dining rooms at the aft of the ship. Instead of those additional main dining rooms you can find on her sister ship Iona, Arvia now includes two additional venues instead. The Olive Grove is a Mediterranean style restaurant serving dishes such as pasta, paella and tagines. Opposite the Olive Grove you'll find the American inspired 6th Street Diner offering American breakfast, lunches and dinner. Example dishes include ribs, Philly steak, chicken and waffles, and of course, pancakes. The menu for both venues rotates every three days and the Olive Grove is only open for dinner, whilst the Sixth Street Diner is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. On a ship as big as Arvia, you are going to need a good sized buffet and the Horizon Buffet definitely delivers. As you would expect, this is the place to grab a quick pre-excursion breakfast, head there for informal style dinners, or if you want to be out of the sun, but for not too long, then this is the place for lunch. Each dish is labelled, which is perfect for those with any allergies or intolerances. There is also a dedicated children's area of the buffet in the evenings. Perfect for a meal before kids club. Within the Horizon Buffet, you'll also find the chef's table. On those formal evenings, one end of the Horizon Buffet is transformed into the chef's table. This becomes a more formal venue with glassware and silver cutlery and offers a menu from Marco Pierre White and wines selected by Ollie Smith. Although the chef's table is included in your cruise fare, you do have to pre-book your table in advance. One of our favourite spots on Arvia to pick up a quick bite to eat was the Keys. This is a food hall style eatery with seating both indoors and outdoors. The Keys is split into three sections, the first of which is hook, line and vinegar, offering that British classic fish and chips along with all the condiments you could want. The second is fusion, offering those Asian inspired dishes. The go-to dish here would be that katsu style chicken curry. And finally, the roast serves traditional roast meats along with Yorkshire puddings. Also available here is that sought after Yorkshire wrap. The Keys is also available for breakfast and each of the three stations all serve breakfast items from pancakes, eggs and your traditional English breakfast items. Located just around the corner from the Keys is a cold section where you can pick up different things such as yogurts and fruit. The final included option is Taste 360. This was our least favourite venue to grab a snack, although it is super convenient being located in the Sky Dome and offered popular fast food items like burgers, hot dogs and pizzas. Taste 360 is a very popular venue on board and it was often easier for us just to nip into the Horizon Buffet and grab something quick to eat. Now let's talk about venues that incur an additional cost. First up is Ripples. Now this is the onboard ice cream parlour where you can also pick up Costa Coffee. Ice cream is priced by the scoop but the more you have the better value it is. Here is where you can also find those popular ice cream afternoon teas. 
The Limelight Club is a combination of entertainment and fine dining. This adult-only venue features guest performers who put on a show along with the resident band after you have tucked into a delicious three-course meal. The menu, along with the guest acts, do change and it's wise to pre-book before boarding. The Epicurean is a sophisticated restaurant located next to the Crow's Nest. The food here is a modern twist on British classics, but do not rush as the Epicurean is a venue where you need to take your time and enjoy all of those courses on offer to you. If you do wish to enjoy the delights of the Epicurean, it's advisable to book before boarding as it is an incredibly popular venue. The Epicurean is also open for afternoon tea. At the time of recording, there was no afternoon tea offered in the main dining rooms on board Arvia or Iona. The afternoon tea in the Epicurean features a sensory experience and a wonderful selection of tasty tree. It is also advisable that you pre-book your Epicurean afternoon tea before boarding. Another incredibly popular venue on board Arvia is Sindhu. This was our favourite meal on board here in the elegant surroundings of Sindhu. The food was perfectly cooked and tasted absolutely delicious. Sindhu is the perfect place for those who love Indian food and we cannot recommend it strongly enough. Another additional charge dining venue is the Beach House. The Beach House is also located in part of the Horizon Buffet and serves up a mixture of Caribbean and American style food. Highlights here include the steaks, ribs, grills and burgers. There is also hanging kebabs. The Keel and Cow is another popular venue on board Arvia. It's claimed to contain the best burger at sea and it is a gastro pub style venue. Here you can also grab a great steak as well as traditional pie and mash. The Keel and Cow also has a separate breakfast menu but is open for lunch and dinner. The Glass House is located in the main atrium also, and this is a perfect venue for wine lovers. Ollie Smith has selected the wines on offer here, but don't worry though, it's not just wine, food options are also available. The Glass House is a perfect place for a light bite. Items include smoked lamb skewers, popcorn chicken, Thai beef salad, and sticky oxtail bonbons. Brand new to Arvia, you'll find Green & Co featuring Ms. Yuana, a restaurant dedicated to vegan and vegetarian foods. Also in this venue, you'll be pleased if you're a sushi lover because there is a huge variety available for you. And finally, for those coffee lovers on board, why not head down to the Vista Cafe located right in the heart of the atrium. Here you can find that perfect Costa coffee and also a cake or a sweet treat to go with it. As it's located in the main atrium, you'll also be treated to some spectacular views through those windows. We hope that you've enjoyed our whistle stop tour of some of the dining venues on P&O's brand new ship, Arvia. If you'd like to know what it's like to actually cruise on Arvia, we've got a full 14 day vlog series available on our channel. We also have a fantastic ship tour and a tour of our room. Thanks for watching. If you've got any comments or questions, just pop them in the box below and we'll get back to you. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification to never miss a video from us. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more content available on our YouTube channel, so press that subscribe button. If you're interested in receiving daily updates, we're available on most social media platforms. Just search for Tom and Dom Travel.